Hi everyone, my name is Kelly Brennan and I'm going to show you how to make a connecting cross by tearing this sheet of paper in half. Now, one of the things that you have to do and take a good close look is that you're going to have to fold this paper. Take this corner right here and bring it to about here. I'll show you here. So take and fold this over like this. And once you feel like this is all aligned, go ahead and then just fold the paper. That's step one. Step two is taking this corner and folding it over to this corner. Let me show you. And then you fold it right here and make it look just like that. All right. Now, step three is just to fold this in half. So take this side and fold it over to this side like this. It's almost like folding an airplane. And the last step would be folding this side over here. So just basically remember, just fold it in half. And it's going to look like this, right? Now, what you want to do is you can either take a pair of scissors and cut straight down the center, or you can just tear down the center like this and you want to go slow because right about here it gets really tough because it's really thick paper but you want to try to keep as straight of a line as possible and then of course some pieces will fall just keep tearing the straight line and then just let the pieces fall where they may now you want to be able to open up every single piece of paper like this and just set them aside because really what you want to do you can see that this part is the longest out of all of them that's your connecting cross open that one last so to keep everyone kind of in suspense just open up all these little pieces of paper and they'll want to wait with excitement to see if you are able to do it or not. And you'll start to see all of these little pieces of paper like this. All right, so you got two pieces of paper that look alike here, two pieces of paper that look alike here, two that look like this looks alike. Now this is your connecting cross. And the reason you want to open it up this way, because if they're looking at you this direction, just take your thumb and go straight up, and it's going to open it up to a connecting cross. Now, if you see one of my other videos on the connecting cross, there's a story behind this. But basically, it tells the story of the Savior, Jesus Christ, and how he died on the cross. And that as he died on the cross, we know that the Roman soldiers put blocks of stone at the bottom of the cross to keep it in place. The thief, I, I'm sorry, the Roman soldiers put a sign above the cross that said, Christ, King of the Jews. We know that they put thieves on each side of Christ. And also, one of the Roman soldiers, and you can just bend this like this, because you'll see the crease, to make it look like there's a point, threw a spear into the side of Christ to make sure he was dead, and the Roman soldiers cast lots for the bidding of all Christ's clothing. You can then go on and tell the story about how one thief didn't believe that he was the Christ, and one did. And with all these pieces of paper, if you remove this cross, 
with all of these various pieces of paper, you can spell these four words. You can spell hell, life, tell, and love. And how I normally present this is I'll say, one of the thieves did not believe in Christ, so there was a place prepared for him. And you're going to start to spell the word hell, and you just take these pieces of paper, and you basically spell out the word H-E-L-L. -L. And you can see here that it spells hell, right? But then you can also take these same letters, and if you rearrange them, take this out, move it over here, because we're going to spell the word life, and then we, we know it's spelled L-I, this becomes the F, and there you go, and that spells life. And then if you want to, you can say things like, if you want others to know of Christ, you can tell them. So, again, we move these papers around, and we move the E over here. We take this cross, and we now make it look like a big capital T. And then we spell out the word tell. So they can see that we need to tell of the Savior's love. And last but not least, and again we'll put a capital letter on this, we take that cross that was the T and we make it look like an L. And we're going to take this and make it look like an, like an O, L-O. This becomes the E. And then those two little skinny pieces of paper make your E, or excuse me, make your B. And you can spell out the word love. So this is how you make a connecting cross. I hope you find it interesting. Thank you.